I don't like this scene. Holy shit. Get me away from this crazy thing. It's a little dog toy. That's interesting. Very s wait. Oh, okay. Give wobbly dog a big push. Rotate the wobbly dog. Okay. Whoa, there he goes. Okay. Um uh, toddle. Oh, we are like actually Oh, excuse me, a toddler. Oh, that's cool. We can go in here. Carrying toys is hard work for, for little hands. Something, something. I didn't finish reading that. Okay. <laughs> Play with Buzzy the Spade. What in the fuck? It's time to come inside, love. Don't okay. leave any balls outside. You'll lose them. Okay, let's uh, go inside to our mum, to our mummy. Oh, final four balls. Okay, I can do that, I guess. Oh, what the freak? What is that? It looks like a sheep or a lamb. Or so, I don't. <laughs> Can I throw it at it? No. Okay. I fell over. I thought that thing just... I thought the thing just came up behind me and took me. You just stay back there. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you, bro. You stay on your side of the gate and I'll stay on mine. How about that? There's one. Let's throw Mr. Green in there. Two, so there's two more balls. Don't worry, mommy, I'll find them. Three. Let's find out if Bouncy Hopper's one. Nope. Bouncy Don't Hopper's. Lose your new balls. Bring them inside, please. Okay, mommy, where are you? You I don't even see you. And why? I'm a toddler. Why aren't you helping me? Uh. Are you trying to break into my uh, area? Is this gonna kill me? Oh, hey. I appreciate the ball. What are you? Oh, you're a hamster. Or you're a rat. I think he's a rat, actually. I appreciate the help. Sorry for thinking you were going to kill me. I mean, can you really blame me, though? Just by looking at you, you look a little... Whoa. No, 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 no. Come here. Quit running from me. You look a little creepy. If we're being honest. Well done for looking after your toys. Now it's time to go inside. Okay. Well, let's go inside and see what's crack a lacking in here. I'm watching a TV show where something just fell out of a basket. Is that Nutcracker? Huh. Old school cartoons. Okay. Another baby gate. My worst enemy. Can I go back outside? No. Such a weird. It's weird. It's such a weird angle to have your couch at. Your couch at. <laughs> like, why not just have it all the way against the, all the way against the wall? I'm ready to go do something fun. I don't like how he talks. Finish playing with your toys, then put them away. Oh, where do I put your toys away in the box? 
Fight all four rubber rings. Okay. Say, so, come on, green ring. We're trying to put you in the box. Really cannot throw stuff. Find three more monster blocks. Okay, so we're basically just putting away everything. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And cigarette butts just right there. Um. My son, he's 17 months at this point, but he, whenever he throws throws stuff, he launches it like this is nothing. That boy will fucking launch shit across the house if he has the opportunity. Oh, who turned off? I don't like that. Uh, what did I do to you, Mr. Hamster? I thought we were friends. How would you like if I turn off your er, Mr. Rat? Find all four tiny people and put them in the box. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, that you had him. The music is like choppy. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. Kind of creepy as shit. Uh, one more tiny person. One more. It's nearly ready, love. Oh. It's nearly ready, huh? Oh, yeah, another one. You're holding out on me. Time to tidy up. Bon Bon. So he's Bon Bon? Open your eyes. Happy birthday, love. Blow them out. One, two, three. Oh, you missed one. Try again. There you go. Oh, of course she's gonna light up a sig. Now, a big birthday slice for you and... Ugh. I'll be your father. Back so do we just turn one, two? And why is the screen just black? No, I'm not interested in speaking. Oh. <laughs> I'm fearless, apparently. <laughs> Okay. That's, you want some cake? Oh, I tried. There we go. Eat that cake, bonbon. You want more? Whoa, where'd it go? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's two. You want another piece, Bon Bon? This cake does look pretty good, actually. So, how much cake can Bon Bon eat? Hey! Don't you get snappy with me! There, you hateful dude! No. That rat quit. You've already had four pieces. Right, that's your last piece. Dude, how much cake do you... How much cake do you need? There is no more cake. What am I supposed to do? I can't grab that. Wait. Dude, I don't have the... Uh... Go away, Bon Bon. I don't like this scene. Holy shit! 
Get me away from this crazy thing. Um, <laughs> who made all this mess? Not me, it was Bon Bon. Once upon a time, there was an old miller who had two children who were twins. The boy twin was named Hans, and he was very greedy. The girl twin was named Hilda, and she was very lazy. Hans and Hilda had no mother, because she died while so giving birth a to their third sibling named Engel, who had been sent away to live with the gypsies. Hans and Hilda were never allowed out of the mill, even when the miller went away to the market. One day, Hans was especially greedy, and Hilda was especially lazy, and the old miller wept with anger as he locked them in the cellar to teach them to be good. Let us try to escape and live with the gypsies, said Hans, and Hilda agreed. While they were looking for a way out, a big brown rat came out from behind the log pile. I will help you to escape and show you the way to the gypsies' camp, said the big brown rat, if you bring me all of your father's grain. So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out, and the next day, when the miller went to market and left the children locked up inside the mill, they carried all the grain down to the cellar. The big brown rat gobbled up the grain until there was none left, and then went to sleep behind the log pile. Hmm. When the sounds like a very similar situation we're in now. Was ruined, and that they with all Bon Bon. Death, and he locked the children in the cellar and wept with fear as he turned the key. The big brown rat was waiting. I will only help the boy child to escape and show him the way to the gypsy's camp said the big brown rat, because the girl child will stay behind and be my wife. You Come back once you've organized the wedding. Once I've escaped, I'll find our brother Engel and lead him back to rescue you, whispered Hans to Hilda. So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out. The next day, when the miller was out bartering for new grain, they made a trail of breadcrumbs all round the mill and into the cellar to show the wedding guests where to go. They took the most important pages out of the hymnal so that the priest would have the right words to say. Then they stole the miller's best Sunday jacket and took in the shoulders so that it would fit hands, and he stole their mother's wedding dress and took up the hem so that it would fit Hilda. Then she put it on, and she looked lovely, but when the miller returned from market and saw them dressed up in the wedding clothes, he wept with shame as he beat them and threw them both into the cellar once more. <laughs> the wedding guests were already assembled. There were mice and voles and stoats in the congregation. The choir was made up of crows who were already singing. The registrar was a big fat spider with spectacles on, and the priest was a long grey weasel who was busy rehearsing the right words from the hymnal. Hans walked Hilda down the aisle, and the big brown rat was waiting. The weasel said, Do you accept this offered paw in binding an inescapable holy matrimony, Hilda girl child? Hilda looked at Hans, who nodded as if to remind her that he would rescue her. I do, said Hilda. The weasel said, Do you take this innocent young hand for your very own Engel monstrous rat baby? Engel <laughs> monstrous do, rat baby? Big brown rat, before anyone could interrupt. Mm. Then I now pronounce you man and wife, squeaked the weasel as quick as he could, and in a flash all of the wedding party scattered and Hans and Hilda were left alone with the big brown rat. I don't understand, said Hans. The big brown rat pushed Hans through a secret tunnel that led down to the riverbank, and Hans escaped. Oh, we're getting tired, I can tell that. Bed. Of course, he never found his brother Engel, and never rescued Hilda. The old miller finally hung himself, but nobody minded. And Hilda died whilst giving birth to a beautiful litter of thirteen baby rats, who grew fat on the miller's grain, and lived happily ever after. What kind of bedtime story is that? What? That's disgusting. Oh, what is this? Party? Okay. It's our bedroom. I just want to go back. I just want to go back to sleep. Why does it look like there's already someone in my bed? I don't recall anybody else being in here. Just let me go in there. Please. They sacrificed my dog? 
Mum? Mummy? Oh. Okay. I really have the heebie jeebies right now. Um. Can I not just go to my freaking bed, please? Is this me knocking over all these toys that was causing the... Ruckus? I hope so. This is flashing over here. Uh, hate that every single time. Um, what's happening? Uh, this changed. What is the... What is that about? Oh. Go get him, boy. Help me. Please. No, I don't want to talk to him. I want to... Yeah, go. Lead the way. Ew, that's burnt. This has gotten real trippy. Uh, that's a fucking rat. Bon Bon. Okay, let's go say out of Bon Bon. Oh. Oh, I'm able to get out of bed? Question mark. Yes, no, I guess not. Rat. Escape. I'm trying to escape from Bon Bon. Bon Bon, sorry, let me escape, he's gonna eat me. I'm, hide under the bed? He knows you're there. Oh gosh. I don't want Bon Bon to take me or eat me. Yep, he's on top of my bed right now. Oh. You're gonna break it, you fat rat. Don't turn around. Oh, go the other way. No, go the other way. Okay, love. Mommy's here. What's he doing in here? Take it downstairs. Yeah, okay. Night, kiddo. Happy birthday. Good night, love. Oh, it's just a pet rat. Okay, so that was Bon Bon. And that was, ex that got like extremely dark and creepy. Um, especially when the dad started talking about that story of Hans and Hilda, like, what the actual shit? Um, but yeah, that was whenever it took a turn. <laughs> um, I don't, like, I mean, I get being afraid of the rat, but I don't know what it was supposed to symbolize. Or if it was just a, just a rat that the toddler got as a present, maybe, or something? I don't know. But... Yeah, this was Bon Bon. If you want to play it for yourself, I'll leave the link for the game in the description below. Like always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.